Okay guys, quick update for Bitcoin. I'm currently in a scalp long trade. I'm going to show you why I decided to enter here. Uh, it's based on two charts. If you want to get access to all these live charts, the link to sign up is pinned in the first comment and description. So this H1 chart I mentioned in the previous video. That is this video here. I'll put a link up to it now if you want to check it out. I do suggest you watch it. I covered a lot in that video as well as gave you some macro targets. I uh, notice I have 27,760 marked off here on the H1 chart. This is a very strong support level. You can see we got close to it, didn't make contact. But again, this uh, H1 chart does show that 27,000 enters a very strong support. You could enter now, but it is also possibly come back down and test 27,800. That would be a great entry with a stop around 27,750. But it's also possibly push up from here. That's why I decided to go ahead and enter the scalp long. Your next resistance on the H1 chart is 28,450. Uh, in addition to the H1 chart, the A1 chart, uh, I've covered this chart, uh, it's been a while since I've covered this chart, but you notice these uh, fib channel lines moving in this direction. These lines will hold as support, and see it was support here, support here. When it breaks, that could be a point to exit your long or enter a short. But because we're at support at this next fib channel line on the A1 chart, and because we're holding above support on the H1 chart, I decided to go ahead and enter my long. You can see I'm currently in a long now. I use BitGet to trade. Uh, if you want to sign up, my link's pinned in the first comment and description. Uh, this is a trade using $3,000 at 30x. I'm currently up $221 in my trade. I have my stop loss below $27,750. Now that is a very risky stop loss. As price pushes up higher, I will put my stop loss above my entry. That way if price crashes down, I lose nothing. The reason I have my stop loss down here is to avoid these wicks. Guys, gotta be careful. They will come and they will push price down and wick you out, and then it will push right back up. But this is why I'm in a long currently. The same information I'm giving you already posted at Discord. So if you do sign up to get access to the charts, make sure you email me through the website if you want to get access to our Discord. Uh, so if we do break, uh, so H the H1 chart here. So if we do break 27,800, Again, very strong support. If that becomes resistance, then you're looking at potentially testing 25,849. As I mentioned in the previous video, this is a 200 week moving average. That is a lot of support. So, again, if we get below 27,800, your next point to uh, short to or long from is 25,850. Your strongest uh, resistance level is above. Uh, so, again, guys, uh, knowing when to get out of a trade is. is is just as risky as knowing when to get in. So 27,000, I'm sorry, 28,400 is your next strong resistance above, and that does match your resistance above on the H1 chart, 28,450. Your next resistance above, very strong resistance. You have the center Bollinger Band on the daily, and you have a very strong uh, support resistance level right at 28,938. That might be where I decide to take profit, or at least set my stop below. Your next strong resistance above is 29,380, and this is the guideline, guys. This is where I'd be going in a heavy short, depending when we make contact. But with today's candle, if we push up, the highest we could go, according to my chart, on the M1 chart, is 30,685. Your strongest support level below is 25,850. Uh, the DXY has just been going up and down. So I will tell you this, and I mentioned this in Discord as well. At any point, you see the DXY get above and hold above 102 then more than likely we are headed down to 25,850. If you see the DXY start coming down, all right, your strongest support right now is 101.3, and below that is, is 100.50. If we head down to that, uh, to these targets, then it's very likely we're headed back up to test the guideline where I'm going to heavy short. So that's pretty much it, guys. You can sign up for the website. Uh, it's optocrypto.com. Links pinned in the first comment description. Uh, I do have stocks, uh, and I have tutorials teaching my charting method if you're interested in that. And again, if you want to sign up for Bigot, my link's pinned in the first comment description. Uh, and I'm up currently $276. Uh, if this continues up, I will set my stop loss above my entry. That's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.